All right, welcome back for another great day. Um, I was out today or on Friday for a, my daughter's sick day. So I'm sorry I couldn't be in class. I'm hoping that you had a great class and that you're watching this over the weekend. Um, so on page nine, we're going to do supplements Compliments and vertical angles. Oh, all right, and congruent angles. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page nine. Today's day is 9-16. Our objective is to determine and explain the measure of an unknown angle using a variety of methods. Okay. So we're definitely going to need our blue pen for this. Okay, and we're going to start out with a linear, or we'll start out with supplements, supplementary. Okay, supplementary. Two angles are supplementary. If they add up to be 180 degrees, okay? So if I have this angle and this angle, this angle is, say, x degrees, this angle is y degrees. These are supplementary if x plus y equals 180. So an example of this might be 100, x is 100, plus 80, y is 180, and together they add up to be 180, okay? Supplementary angles always can make a linear pair. Okay, and that's when two angles who share a side, or share a ray, form a straight line. Okay, so a linear pair would look like a straight line, and then the ray shared in the middle, or shared ray, would form two angles. I've got this angle right here, and this angle right here. Okay. So if we label them, okay, angle A, B, C, and angle C, B, D form a linear pair. Okay. Next on our list is complementary angles. Two angles are complementary. If they add up to 90 degrees. 
degrees. So an example of that might be Say this angle is 30 degrees, and this angle is 60 degrees. These two angles are complementary because they add up to be 90 degrees total. And they don't have to touch either, so it could be, um, another example over here might be like this angle right here is uh, 40 degrees, and this angle right here, say, is 50 degrees. These two angles are complementary because they add up to 90. So they don't actually have to share a ray. Same thing with supplementary. Linear pairs do actually have to share a ray, though. Okay, congruent. Angles. Have the same degree measure. So an example of a type of congruent angle might be vertical angles. Okay, and vertical angles are angles that are across from each other on intersecting lines. And the best way to show that is with a picture. So I've got two intersecting lines, A, B, C, and D, B, F. And the two angles that are vertical angles are angle A, B, D, and angle F, B, C are a vertical pair. So they're congruent. And to mark them congruent, I'm going to use a little um, rounded hash mark to show that these two angles are congruent. Okay, They are a vertical pair. They don't actually have to be vertical to be a vertical pair. Like They don't have to be up and down to be vertical. They can be left and right. Um, another pair of vertical angles in this diagram, and I'm going to give it a double hash mark because it's different from these two angles but it's the same as this one over here. So another vertical pair are these two right here. So angle ABF and angle DBC are a vertical pair. So I can write these as being congruent. Angle ABD is congruent to angle FBC, and I can say that their measures are equal. Okay, and I can say the same thing about my other vertical pair. Angle ABF is congruent to angle DBC, and the measure of angle ABF is equal to the measure of angle DBC. Okay? So those are vertical angles, and vertical angles are always congruent. Always, always, always. And the last are angles around a point. These angles that are all go all the way around a point add up to 360 degrees. So if I were to draw a whole bunch of angles, say around a point, and I've got angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, say. All of these angles around point, I'll call it A. All those angles are point around point A, so the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4. I made too many angles plus the measure of angle 5 plus the measure of angle 6 plus 
the measure of angle 7 equals 360 degrees. Okay? So if I were to write that a little bit neater, maybe fit it all on one line so it's clear what I'm saying. Measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of measure of angle 5 plus the measure of angle 6 plus the measure of angle 7 equals 360 degrees. Next time I'll make fewer angles. But all of these angles are all the way around the point add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so that's what you need to know for tonight's notes. We have three types of angles. We have, or really four types of angles, right? Supplementary angles and linear pair, they add up to be 180. Linear pair forms a straight line. Supplementary, again, let me be clear, they don't have to be touching to be supplementary. I could have two angles that are not touching. Say this is 110, say this is 70. And they're still, seven, they're still supplementary even if they're not touching because they add up to be 180. A linear pair has to be touching and they are supplementary. Complementary angles add up to 90. They can be touching or they don't have to be. Congruent angles have the same degree measure. An example of a congruent angle relationship are vertical angles. I have two pair of vertical angles every time I have two lines intersecting. And angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. And that is it for tonight's notes.